The Quebec Nordiques were floundering financially in one of the NHL's smallest markets, and in May 1995, the Nordiques were sold to Comsat Entertainment, who already owned the Denver Nuggets. The Nordiques were renamed the Avalanche. We got the name and everything. We start with the identity, and uh, uh, we're just looking forward to starting to play hockey now. When they arrived, the cupboard was hardly bare, as the Nordiques had the best record in the Eastern Conference in their final year boasting the likes of Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Adam Deadmarsh, and Valerie Kaminsky. Right. Kaminsky, oh. rebound, he scores! While the Mile High City was abuzz from the excitement of having a new hockey franchise, little did the fans know what lied ahead. Already off to a great start with head coach Mark Crawford behind the bench, the Avalanche were the unforeseen benefactors in one of the most one-sided trades in NHL history. One third of the way through the season, they acquired goaltender Patrick Waugh from the Montreal Canadiens, along with former captain Mike Keane. The Avalanche finished second in the Western Conference, and in the postseason, they polished off Vancouver in the first round. The franchise's first playoff win since 1987. They have knocked the Canucks out of the playoffs. Then, in a series they trailed two to one, rallied to beat Chicago four games to two. setting up an epic Western Conference Finals with the Detroit Red Wings. In a series that is legendary to this day, the Avalanche took down the Red Wings four games to two, with Super Joe Sackick racking up two goals, including the game winner and series clincher. Joe Sackick! Colorado wins it! Next up, the Stanley Cup Finals against the Florida Panthers. The Panthers' rallying cry came in the form of a rat. Prior to the Panthers' season opener, winger Scott Mellenby killed a rat with a stick in the locker room, then proceeded to score two goals in the opener. From that point on, plastic rats would rain down on their home ice whenever Florida would score. McNichols Arena, where it's a packed house of about 16,000 fans on hand, hoping their team can come up with the Stanley Cup. Colorado grabbed the first two games on home ice, 3-1 and 8-1, before the series shifted to Florida. In a thrilling battle between goalies Patrick Waugh and John Van Beesbrook, the Avs took game three, 3-2. Three Sackick again with the game winner. Game four was a historical performance by Waugh and Van Beesbrook. Both goalies were tremendous the entire game. Brilliant save after brilliant heart-pounding save. Scoreless, after three periods of play, the fans settled in for what would be a game that went three overtimes. Patrick Waugh had 63 saves that night on 63 shots, and finally, 431 into the third overtime, Huey Krupp sent a wobbler toward the goal, eluding Van Beesbrook. and the Colorado Avalanche claimed their first Stanley Cup, sweeping the Florida Panthers four games to none. Joe Sackett claimed the Conn Smythe Trophy, racking up 34 points on 18 goals and 16 assists.